In the lead is Medal of Honor from Port Lines. Rostropovich is tracking them on the rail, followed by War Hero as they race on towards the two. Cresarell is next with Dark Olva. Racing on now with a furling and a half to go. In the lead is Medal of Honor from Port Lines. In between horses trying to make ground is Rostropovich. And then a break back to War Hero as they race down towards the final furlong. And it's Medal of Honor from Rostropovich in the centre who's coming home. And then Port Lines as they run up towards the line now. Rostropovich on the near side. Rostropovich in the lead is Medal of Honor from Port Lines. Rostropovich is tracking them on the rail. Followed by War Hero as they race on towards the two. Cresarell is next with Dark Olva. Racing on now with a furling and a half to go. In the lead is Medal of Honor from Port Lines. In between horses trying to make ground is Rostropovich. And then a break back to War Hero as they race down towards the final furlong. And it's Medal of Honor from Rostropovich in the centre who's coming home. And then Port Lines as they run up towards the line now. Rostropovich on the near side. Rostropovich adds to Aidan O'Brien's marvellous wake here at home. Second Medal of Honor, third Port Lines. They're clear from Dark Olva. On the rail, Ollie's Folly, joined in the centre by Dinky Inti, and then Pan Star and Dandy's Gold, being followed on towards the final two by Sea Point, and then comes Butala. Just outside the furlong pole now, and it's Dandy's Gold challenging Dinky Inti, and then Ollie's Folly with Magma Deary running on behind the leaders, and then Sea Point, Butala, and Pan Star. Betty Locke hasn't got into it as they're well inside the final furlong. Dandy's Gold and Magma Deary on the near side, then Dinky Inti and Ollie's Folly as they race up towards the line. Dandy's Gold on the far side from Magma Deary. On the rail, Ollie's Folly joined in the centre by Dinky Inti, and then Pan Star and Dandy's Gold being followed on towards towards the final two by C point and then comes Butala just outside the furlong pole now and it's Dandy's Gold challenging Dinky Inti and then Ollie's Folly with Magma Deary running on behind the leaders and then Sea Point, Butala and Pan Star Betty Locke hasn't got into it as they're well inside the final furlong Dandy's Gold and Magma Deary on the near side then Dinky Inti and Ollie's Folly as they race up towards the line Dandy's Gold on the far side from Magma Deary in third is Dinky Inti then Sea Point and Ollie's Folly next Just behind them, with the big white face, is Secret Wizard, and then comes Northern Surprise, and beginning a run in the centre is Club Wexford, and Miza has been eased. Racing on towards the final furlong now. Not a bad old day with Club Wexford on the outside of Secret Wizard. And then comes Shepherd's Purse and Northern Surprise. But still in the lead is not a bad old day. Followed by Secret Wizard. And as they run up to the finish, not a bad old day. Notches another win. Just behind them with the big white face is Secret Wizard. And then comes Northern Surprise. And beginning a run in the centre is Club Wexford. And Miza has been eased. Racing on towards the final furlong now. Not a bad old day with Club Wexford on the outside of Secret Wizard. And then comes Shepherd's Purse and Northern Surprise. But still in the lead is not a bad old day. Followed by Secret Wizard. And as they run up to the finish, not a bad old day. Notches another win for David Simonson and John Fiend. Secret Wizard, Shepherd's Purse, the Northern Surprise and Club Wexford. And they're followed by Red Aggressor with Snap Click. Turning on the tears next with Lady Ranger. And then Duck and Dive within the centre of the track, Archibald Thorborn. Racing on towards the final furlong now. And Quelas is the leader and has kicked a few lengths clear. Nivo Snap Click and then Red Aggressor as they race inside the final 200 yards. And out in front it's Quelas and Gary Halpin going right away from Nivo on the run up to the finish. And Quelas follows up for a double. Quelas wins for Gary Halpin. Halpin and John Gagan, and they're followed by Red Aggressor with Snap Click. Turning on the tears next with Lady Ranger, and then Duck and Dive within the centre of the track, Archibald Thorborn, racing on towards the final furlong now, and Quelas is the leader and has kicked a few lengths clear. Nivo Snap Click, and then Red Aggressor, as they race inside the final 200 yards, and out in front, it's Quelas and Gary Halpin, going right away from Nivo on the run-up to the finish, and Quelas follows up for a double. Quelas Quelas wins for Gary Halpin and John Gagan. Second is Nivo, close for third and fourth. Red Aggressor and Snap Click. Then Lady Ranger and Duck and Dive. 
is Spanish Steps and Donegal O'Brien, chased by Switch and Time and Pat Smullen. Moving into third place is Dawn Quire and Declan McDonough. Racing on towards the final furlong, and Spanish Steps is coming right away from Dawn Quire and Switch and Time. Running on against the rail is Sovereign Hill, ahead of Vienna Circle. Racing well inside the last furlong, and Spanish Steps is way out in front as Dawn Quire has moved on into second place, but up towards the line. Spanish Steps completes a double. On the afternoon for Aidan O'Brien is Spanish Steps and Donegal O'Brien, chased by Switch and Time and Pat Smullen. Moving into third place is Dawn Quire and Declan McDonough. Racing on towards the final furlong and Spanish Steps is coming right away from Dawn Quire and Switch and Time. Running on against the rail is Sovereign Hill ahead of Vienna Circle. Racing well inside the last furlong and Spanish Steps is way out in front as Dawn Quire has moved on into second place but up towards the line. Spanish Steps completes a double on the afternoon for Aidan O'Brien. This winner ridden by his son Donica. Second is Dawn Quire, then Sovereign Hill switch in time. Vienna Circle next. A modern approach on the rail in the centre in the lightish colours is Remember the Days, followed by Diarist in the blue. And then comes Thomas O'Malley, reimagined as trying to run on from the rear ahead of Lady Clinch and Nimitz is last. Racing now with a furling and a half to go. Modern approach, Remember the Days. Diarist is joining in on the near side and up the rail is Thomas O'Malley. Little to choose between four now as they race well inside the final 200 yards. Remember the Days, Thomas O'Malley and Modern Approach is battling on between horses as they go towards the line and remember the days the top weight modern approach on the rail in the center in the lightish colors is remember the days followed by diarist in the blue and then comes thomas o'malley reimagined as trying to run on from the rear ahead of lady clinch and nimitz is last racing now with a furling and a half to go modern approach remember the days diarist is joining in on the near side and up the rail is thomas o'malley little to choose between four now as they race well inside the final 200 yards remember the days thomas o'malley and modern approach is battling on between horses as they go towards the line and remember the days the top weight for modern approach Thomas O'Malley and Dyrest followed by Kjol Nanog, Titus on the outside, passed by Tennessee Wildcat and then Daybreak Boy on they come to the final furling and a half and it's Sir Edwin Lancier trying to shake them off here followed by Tennessee Wildcat and then Kjol Nanog and Daybreak Boy dropping right back is Titus as Pat Smullen looks down, but it's Sir Edwin Lance here from Tennessee Wildcat on the near side. These two now from Kjolden Oog as they race up towards the last 50 yards. Tennessee Wildcat on the near side of Sir Edwin Lance here. It's close. Followed by Kjol Nanog, Titus on the outside, passed by Tennessee Wildcat and then Daybreak Boy. On they come to the final furling and a half and it's Sir Edwin Lance here. Trying to shake them off here, followed by Tennessee Wildcat and then Kjol Nanog and Daybreak Boy. Dropping right back is... Titus as Pat Smullen looks down, but it's Sir Edwin Lance here from Tennessee Wildcat on the near side. These two now from Kjolden Oog as they race up towards the last 50 yards. Tennessee Wildcat on the near side of Sir Edwin Lance here. It's closed in the last. And then Kjolden Oog and Daybreak Boy tailed off as Titus 